Snap to cover. Unboxing. Mertz, what is up? It's Tobin from Snap to Cover. With me today are ISS and Texaco. I've been waiting months for these Megacons to come in and they are finally here. We finally got them in and I have been dying to get these. I heard the reports that everyone got them last Wednesday. Uh, postal service around here doesn't like to work. So I didn't get mine until yesterday and I've waited to open them with you. So let's dive on in because I am dying to see what's inside these boxes. All right, so let's start things off with the ISS. I am extremely excited about these guys. They were the last ones to come out, even after Texaco. Kind of a little hidden secret by the Mercs guys. Let's see what we got inside this box. First off, beautiful artwork, as always. Um, front on the sides as well. Uh, great, great artwork. Inside, you've got the plastic tray. You got your quick start rules right there. For all you people that are just starting into the game, this is the way to go. You get all your quick start rules. The only thing you don't get are the advanced rules. Great there. Then we got our card right there. Great deck. It's got all your. Uh, all your stats for all your models on there. It's probably got some train pieces. Let's open this up and double check that. So you got your Megacon card with all your modifiers on the back side. And you got your leader, you got your booster, sniper, heavy. Should be one more in there. There's the wayfinder hiding and the Calypso she was hiding as well you got your awesome card that's car that's wrecked look at that on trap off trap cards they're also terrain piece pretty cool those will come with their uh, their special rules and you've got your uh, turn scenario so great deck there High quality as always. And we got the dice. I'll show you these. Little uh, ten sided dice in the gray color for the ISS. What you want to roll with these? The Merc symbol. That's your ten. dice out of the way. A little break in the packaging, but it's plastic. You're not going to be using it after this anyways. Not a big deal. So let's break down what we got in this. Alright, before I go into the assembled models, can I just show you how little flash there is? This is after two boxes of models. And there's less flash than I've seen on a Sunday morning trying to get the paper. I mean, that is ridiculous there's so little flash all right let's get into the good stuff all right so here we have the wavefinder in all of her beautiful glory fist pumping in the air turret on the ground she knows she's badass look at some of the amazing detail on this model i mean you've got the cross hatching of the lace you've got the scale armor and that is one amazing model and you got the cool little turret that she can place down the ground that is so good. So here we have the Calypso. It's got a giant trident. This is the brink of the uh, of the ISS. A little smarter though. I'll give her that. And look at all of that detail. I believe this is the first run they ever did with. 3D modeling, and I have to say, I'm a fan. Works really well. Here we have the sniper. Kind of a stock run move with a sniper rifle. Or pulse rifle, I should say. This isn't your typical sniper rifle, it basically moves a guy around 
can move the enemy around the board, which is pretty cool. So here we have our assault leader. This cool pistol. It's a duck in and out of walls, I guess. He's got his uh, his riot shield popping out around the corner again. Cool riot shield. Gives him a little protection on the run. Great model. Let's get in a little closer so you can see some of that. Look at that. That is amazing. For ISS, we have the booster. This model basically gives a boost to the rest or to certain models in his team. Very cool. Look at the detail on the face on this one. Much better. Here we have the ISS Sniper, or Heavy actually. This is the Heavy with his crazy lightning gun. Got a ton of detail on these models. So here is the Texaco. These are the, the Texas slash Mexico faction. Uh, they're kind of living on the edge. Not doing very well as a Megacon, but you know, they're doing what they need to do to get by. Great artwork as always. Let's open up the other side so you can see both side pictures at once. Look at that. Got the assault leader, got the marshal, you got the demo. And this probably has one of the coolest models in the game so far. Again, you got your card deck. You got, you got your bases. You got brown dice in this set. All right, let's kick it off with Texaco. Start off with the assault leader. He's got his rifle. guys love their packs. Packs and bandoliers everywhere. And to go with him, of course, is his secondary weapon. Or primary, if you want to think of it like that. The dog. Bow wow wow yippee yo oh, yippee yay. Look at that guy. Woo! He's just begging to go take down some enemy. Look at that guy. Awesome. Here we have the demo. He's got his shotgun. Then we got the heavy. Not so heavy gun. I like the boots on these guys. Just notice that. Those boots are pretty cool. Ready to batter up. Very cool model. Didn't really care for it when I was doing the reviews back or the previews before they came out but now that I see the model it's pretty nice I had to read up on the rules on it but looks like it uh, looks like he's ready to do some damage we've got the Marshall bandolier and duster dude he's got his two pistols you can call out targets to the rest of his guys that duster is gonna be so much fun to paint here we have a sniper for Texaco. Very cool long gun. It's got a really good firm sniper stance. It's 
key top notch on the pose. Very cool. You're ready to do some work. Cannot wait to feel this guy. All right, Mark, so that wraps it up for ISS and Texaco. Out of the two that you saw, who'd you pick up? Who are you gonna pick up? Which one's your favorite? What five would you bring? Uh, leave us a comment below and we'll get on to making some more videos.